One of the best ways to get started in cybersecurity is by getting a certification. But getting a certification is not the problem. The real problem is which certification should you get? Is the certification going to get you a job, right? And this is a very important factor we are looking at today. No mission to help 1 million people into cybersecurity. Will this certification get me a job? Am I even going to learn anything about cybersecurity if I get the certification? And really, those are important questions to ask. So today, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite, favorite brands because they're exceptional at everything that they do. Now, I love this brand so much, but I am not going to be partial. I'm not going to be partial at all. I'm going to give you my full 100% feedback review on this certification but it is the google Cybersecurity certification as you can see here actually it, it is a certificate not a certification pardon me so let me explain let's just scroll up here back so let me actually explain what the difference is between a certificate and a certification so a certificate is it just helps you to learn something right and it's really good but recruiters are not looking for a certificate on a job description when you're looking to hire someone especially someone who doesn't really have much knowledge on cybersecurity. they're really looking for a certification because a certification is backed by an exam body so when you think of things like comptia isc square isaka those organizations are, you know, exam bodies. And so they have certifications. Meanwhile, like Google certificates, something you take on Coursera, that's a certificate. It's not a certification. So I just want to be, just make out a difference. So let's move on. Uh, I hope that is clear. If not, like ask me any questions in the comment box below. But we're looking at different factors here. So for employability, the Google Cyber Secu Security Certificate, I put no, and it kind of is because, as I said, the old certificate versus certification thing. I need water. That feels good. So, in terms of relevance, I gave it one star compared to the IS, which is three star, and I'm going to tell you a little bit why. Just watch till the end, okay? And then I'll uh, have a little summary here about uh google cybersecurity certificates and also we have all the cost content entails we have the theory versus practice so we talk a little bit about all this we have the pros the cons the price there we have a, a look here at the website so let's just take it back here and just start at uh, a little summary about the certificate this certificate will help you understand cybersecurity practice it will help you understand risk, threats, vulnerabilities. It also is a very hands-on certificate. It's a really good certificate. I would say a lot of courses on Coursera are really, really good. It would help you with a practical like learning experience, which I find to be very helpful. So again, we're getting a little year into the pros and the cons, right? So for, as I said, it's more practical focus than theory. So you get to do a lot of hands-on exercise, which is what you want, right? Now, what does this certificate entail? It has, uh, so the course content is you learn the foundations of cybersecurity. You learn security risk. You learn how to protect networks. Hello, my ethical hackers out there. You also learn the truths of the trade. So like Linux, SQL, which is important if you want to be a security engineer, AKA ethical hacker. And then assets, threats, vulnerabilities, which is kind of my, my stuff, right? I like assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. Um, and then you get to learn about detection response, automate cybersecurity tasks with Python. I love Python so much. And you also get to, they have this little session where they help you prepare for cybersecurity jobs, which is really cool. I find that very helpful. So a little about the pros and the cons. So let's look at the pros here. You get the job prep guide. So they help you with like resume coaching, interview coaching, LinkedIn coaching. So helpful because how many times do you get a certification, but your resume looks 
really bad uh, for lack of better words and so you don't really get the opportunity to even get an interview to showcase how amazing you are which i know that you are you are amazing okay so because the certifications are not easy you get to learn other things you get to learn is you get to build a portfolio on GitHub based on uh, the labs that you do during the course. You learn, you get experience with Wireshark, Linux, SQL, Python. I could go on and on. I love this. By the way, I love Google. Google, Google. I love Google. Also, uh, they also do have 30% off that will help you pass towards getting the computer security plus. So it's like you get two for one with this one. I love it. You get financial aid also, so you can get it for free, completely for free. If you like, you know, you can afford the $49, I think it's $49 per month. We're going to get into that, but you can also get it for free. Uh, you have to go through some application to get the exam for free. It is difficult for someone who is new to cybersecurity. <laughs> uh, they said that it's beginner friendly. I think it's more intermediate, honestly, because it goes really into details which i love but if you're a beginner beginner you need time to actually assimilate everything that you're learning because you learn a lot which is really good uh it's very durable i would say it's difficult but it's durable and that's what's important that you can do it right and i know you can do it so uh let's see here yeah so i would say based on my calculation from what i from what I experienced is that if you want to do the certificate for a newbie, you need to spend, let's say, an average of 12 hours every day uh, for 30 days. Or you can spend seven hours a week for six months, depending on how fast you want to move into cybersecurity. Uh, excuse me. Because I remember when I was trying to break in, I wanted to break in right away. Like I wanted to break in like yesterday. So I did everything I wanted to do in like days. I couldn't wait months. Okay, so scratch six months. Let's do it in 30 days. Are you with me? Let's, let's do it in 30 days. But you don't see Google. You don't see, you don't see it on a job description. You don't see someone asking for it on a job description. But if you really master what they're teaching you, during the uh the program during the course while taking the course it will help you to land a job it will and i think that's what's important you want to get a job and let's look at some of the cons here it's like it holds no weight for jobs no one is looking for it right it's also not a proctored exam so people in cyber security like people can be very particular about trust let me just say this like people emphasize a lot about trust cyber security is a trust field so when you're showing a certificate, so you're showing some sort of certification that you've done, people are thinking, mm, okay, what are the steps that someone can take to do this for me to verify that it was 100% done by them, right? And that's where we have things like proctored exam. So this isn't a proctored exam. So sometimes people can say, okay, like, how did you really do it? Did you really do it yourself? <laughs> because it's not proctored. But that is for another topic, right? So uh, let's see here. I mean, this is a con that I found out is that they give you basic resume or portfolio tips, but, and they tell you that they give you access to a job board where you can get a job, but like <laughs> even the job board you get access to after getting the certificate will still ask you for years of experience. So it's like a job, board, like indeed, for example, you know, indeed, right. Or LinkedIn jobs. And the jobs on there are still asking you for experience. So like you giving me access to a job, but I still asking me for experience doesn't really, I don't know if it does anything. I mean, does it do anything for you? <laughs> you let me know. Uh, another thing I also said is like, it's a certificate, not a certification. So if you have any questions on it, just ask me in the comments. That's what I'm here for. So you, you can do it in seven. So you can get it for free. If you can do it in seven days, I would strongly advise against this, except you just like, you, you know just the best you just you're just the best at writing exams and studying and you can wrap everything up in seven days but for a beginner beginner i don't think you can do it in seven days but for seven days you get a seven days free trial with coursera and you pay 45 49 per month or you pay 294 dollars in six months so uh depending on how long it, it, it you take to complete it 
Okay, so yay, finally at the end. Let's take a look at what the website looks like here. I'm really, I need water again. <sighs> you guys actually don't know, this is tough. Like I need to drink lots of water when I'm filming videos because I talk a lot. This is what the Coursera website for the Google Cybersecurity, Cybersecurity Professional Certificate looks like. And you can see it says beginner level, which I already said is more intermediate level, but you can definitely do it. So six months at seven hours a week, as I already said, or you could do it for 12 hours for three months, right? Uh, you can enroll today if you want, right here. Just click enroll and do it. Do it, just do it. Cool. So that said, I'm going to paste the link. Everything I said is on the website. So I'm going to just paste the link here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to get go get some water. I really need some water. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Also, I put together a playlist right here. I don't know if it shows up here or shows up anywhere. But anywhere it shows up, I put a playlist together for you on questions beginners ask. Now, this playlist asks lots of answers for you for all the questions that you're dreaming about you're thinking about you're pondering about it has everything all the answers are here answered here for you so just check it out and uh i'll see you in the next video omission to help one million people into cyber security